Do you wish that you didn't have to create an articles category module for every single category on your Joomla site? Well, in this video, I'm going to show you how you can get rid of all of those except for one that will work for all of them. Hey there, Joomla fans. Tim Davis here. I'm a Joomla fan too. Thanks for tuning in to Maintenance Monday number 223 here on the Basic Joomla Tutorials YouTube channel where I show you my favorite extensions, tools, and tips for building and maintaining Joomla sites. I also work on Joomla sites, so if you're looking to hire someone long-term or short-term, even just to get you out of a bind, uh, send me an email, tim at cybersalt.com, and let's talk. Today's video is brought to you by our channel sponsor, MySites.Guru. Head on over to MySites.Guru and get a free site audit for your Joomla site. And while you're there, check out all the tools and information that will save you time and money managing one or multiple Joomla sites. And if you decide to subscribe, use the coupon code BASICJOOMLA. Okay, let's turn our attention to the screen and we'll get right to today's topic. So what I have set up for us here is a Joomla 4 website, the core install with the sample blog information. And what we're going to be uh, doing in setting this up is we're going to add a couple of menu items to the main menu. Not this top menu in the blog layout. This is sort of the blog menu, but the main menu, which we see here where it says home. All right. And then we're going to create two links to uh, show the um, uh, cat articles in the category. We'll, I'll show you right now. Here we are. Now, here's the two categories we're going to do. We're going to do help, which we see here has three published items. And we're going to do Joomla, which here has three as well. And we're viewing the categories list here. Here we are in the menus. Now, of course, to get to that, we're going to go, we would go to system. And then we're going to go to menus. Where the heck is that? Oh, here it's on the left hand side. Sorry, menu. And we're going to go to main menu. We can view it all there. Okay, and then we'll go new menu item. Now, the menu item that we're going to do is when we go to uh, select is an article type. And we're going to go and we want to see, in this case, we're going to see a category blog. And we're going to select the category here. The first one, which I said, we'll do help. And I'm just going to give this something that's descriptive, a title for us to see help articles all right and the other thing too is we've assigned it the main parent and that is great so I'm gonna save that now with this open I'm going to uh, change the category here watch we'll clear we're gonna select and now we'll select Joomla we'll change the, the Joomla category now we're going to change the title to Joomla Oops, I should know how to spell that, shouldn't I? And now we're going to save as a copy, All right? So when you save something as a copy, it is unpublished, as you'll see here. So we're going to publish it, and we're going to save. And now in the back, uh, back at the home page, when we refresh, we'll see on our main menu here, we have a link to help articles and Joomla articles. If we click on help articles, now we have a list of the help articles that are here. Now let's suppose, and what we're going to do here is we're going to make an article category module on the right hand side so that when we're viewing this category view, we also have a handy dandy link to other articles that are from this category. And to do that, we are going to go and add a module. Now, uh, here we are in the back and again, and where we can create modules. And to get to that, I went to system and then we went to modules. Here we go right there, site modules. And we're back there. Now let's click new. And of the types, we're going to select articles category. And now I'm going to give this a title, other articles in this category all right and what we're going to do now this went to menu assignment first um, uh, normally your tab would show module uh, here's where we're going to make the difference now normally uh, if you're just it, it, normally or maybe not normally but usually uh, I think 
the thought is to create one of these modules for every single category and then assign it to only the page where that category, those articles show up. I'll show you what I mean. The normal mode here, what we would do is we go filtering options and you would say, yeah, I want to show um, all the, I, I want to show all the articles from one category and we would select, hey, I want to show it from help and then, uh, but obviously if I'm showing help articles, I only want them to show on a certain menu. So we will go and say only on the pages selected. Here we'll clear all the selections and we go down here and we say, okay, only show this module on the help articles link. All right. And of course we'd just be seeing help. If we, uh, if we save that, now watch what happens. We go back to our home page. Uh, we click on help articles and uh, there is uh, that module's not showing up. Let me just take a quick look at what's going on there. Oops, quick fix. I forgot to assign this module to a position. Let's assign it to sidebar right. All right, now when we do that, we go back and if we click on help articles, here's our category, other articles in this category. Uh, here's the module and we see there's two articles showing here about and new feature workflows I know it said three somewhere, but maybe one. I don't know why the other one's not showing up Now if we want it like I said if we want it to go and show other articles in this category For the Joomla articles category what we'd have to do is go into our module here and create a whole other module all right, a copy of it. And we would go to the filtering options and change it from help to Joomla. And we would assign it to the Joomla link and not that. But what you can do is this instead. Instead, let's go to the module tab here and we're gonna choose dynamic. And as you can read here, what dynamic does is it, it takes a look at what category is being viewed on the page and then it shows the articles for that category. And as the page changes, what is shown changes dynamically, automatically. So to make that change, we select dynamic. We can go to our menu assignment. Now we will just, let's just assign it to all pages. For now, that makes it easier. We'll select help articles there too. Okay, and now their filtering options. Now we don't need help anymore. We're just gonna leave that blank and we will save our changes because the module position stays the same. We save, now watch what happens on our home page. When we go to help articles, we see other articles in this category about a new feature. But when we click on Joomla articles, now we see articles from this category, Joomla, Love and Millions. And as you are, as things are being seen from a different uh, category, this will change dynamically. Now, pro tip, look what happens. If I click on the Joomla article, here's the, the, here's the article entitled, titled Joomla, the other articles in this category still shows. Maybe you don't want that. Maybe you only want this category showing when someone's viewing the category link. To fix that or to set that, go back to the module, to the module tab here and see where it says show on article page just say no now when we save that we go back and we can click on an article and watch the module disappears it comes back if we click on the category view but if we click on an article it disappears and as we move through our different categories it will show up only there so there you have it. You don't have to create a whole bunch of modules in order to show a listing of articles in a category based on all the different category things. You can do it dynamically, save yourself a lot of effort, and it's a more elegant solution for designing your Joomla site. I hope that was helpful. If it was, please subscribe, ring the bell for notifications, and until the next time, enjoy your Joomla sites, and God bless.